Good morning traders. I have just taken a long position here. It is Tuesday, July 26th and this trade was called out in advance in my charting service uh, about eight hours ago. So anyway, all of you charting members out there should be uh, in this trade here. I have used the breakout technique to take the trade. It's the easiest way to play it. The highest math on it to play. And uh, I will come back shortly to show you the progression and of course the outcome of this trade. Also, I'm probably going to need to readjust the stop. I'll be back shortly. Okay, I have a 34 tick stop on this. Uh, normally I don't like to play that big, but when you play the breakout technique, even though uh, your math goes up and it's the easiest way to play it, you have to set a, a fairly large stop most of the time when you play the breakout technique. That's one of the drawbacks to the breakout technique. But, um, but as long as the stop doesn't get hit, it doesn't really matter. And once you know how the code works, how the computer behind all of the movement is working, and especially if you having me track it for you in the charting service, then you're going to know the exact proper entry to take. It's all basic, simple, romper room mathematics at that point. Anyway, um, I'm just taking the trade. Uh, all of you charting members out there should be in the trade if you're using the breakout technique. And uh, I just wanted to show you how this is done. It's very, very simple. Very easy to do. Um, my exit is a little bit large at 40 ticks. I might back that off to 30 ticks just to be more sure. In fact, let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to put a 30 tick exit on this. I'll be back. Okay, exit is set to 43.04 for 30 ticks. 43.04 for 30 ticks. Um, and if you're in my charting service, which a tr uh, tremendous amount of you are now, um, you go by what it's been good for. Like, for instance, what it was good for on Monday. And you go by that. And since it wasn't good for that much on Monday, it's appropriate to back off on the exit. You know, oil's running a little tight right now, and because uh, it's summertime, and uh, so it's appropriate to back off the exit a bit instead of going for 40. I'm just going to go for 30. Um, also, you have to keep in mind that I'm already. Let's see. Already got quite a few, but I'm using the breakout technique here. In fact, let me just go for 20 ticks on this. That would be better. I'll come back. So I've got it set for 20 now. The reason why I'm going to go for 20 is because I'm in uh, I'm in the trade and it's already moved quite a bit. Therefore, it, you know, you have to calculate what it's going to be good for and then realize it's already been good for that by quite a bit. So that there's not really much left in the trade. So 20 ticks is appropriate to go for at this point. Anyway, I will come back and show you the progression and, of course, the outcome of this trade. Oh, and by the way, I did call two trades out in my charting service, so I will be taking another one as well. Okay, I'm back. I just wanted to show that it made it to the 20 tick exit there. And um, I will be back. I called out two trades in my charting service, and so I'll be back. Uh, when the other setup comes and to take that second trade. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, I've just taken another entry here. Uh, this trade was called out in advance in my charting service eight, ten and a half hours ago. I need to readjust the stop. I'll be right back. Okay, as it turns out, it's another 34 tick exit. I mean, um, stop down to 42.62. That's what you have to do when, you, when you're using the breakout technique like this. But the math on the breakout technique is very high. And right now I have this set at 30 tick exit, which it should be able to make. Exit is set up to 
for 30 ticks. By the way, just to show that this isn't some sort of a replay, or some people want to say that it is, let's go ahead and go to the world clock. And we'll bring it up here. And you'll see currently right now in Los Angeles, it is 8.32, that's AM time. And right now I'm in Bangkok, so it's 22.32, 22.33 now. My iPhone says it is 10.33 PM, Tuesday, July 26. So, and if I minimize this, you'll see that it also says 8.33 AM on the software. Just wanted to show and prove that this isn't some sort of a replay, um, nor, nor is it possible to be able to do what I'm doing in a replay. Unfortunately, the people who don't want everyone to know that it's all the markets are controlled by a computer program are pretty much willing to do and say anything that they need to do and say in order to stop people from learning this information unfortunate reality of life but I suppose it is very dangerous information to reveal to the public around the world that all of the financial markets all over the world are all being controlled in advance by a computer and do not really trade the implications of this are mind-boggling and far-reaching to say the least obviously most people just care that they can make money from it and um, yeah I don't blame him I suppose uh, money is important to have and and um, if you can make money from something like this then I suppose that, that is a good thing and that's why I do my best to teach people how to do it to reiterate once again, I did call this trade out in advance in my charting service, which I track the code to every day. And I called it out ten and a half hours ago. And um, called exactly what the trade would be within my charting service. So uh, I called out the first one, I called out the second one. Uh, last week uh, I called them all out and um, had a very very good week last week and um, some weeks are better than others but uh, when you know when you're tracking the code like I'm doing it's pretty difficult not to do well and pretty easy to do really super well this is why I like to trade oil because oil has a code too and I like to trade it because of that. It makes trading even easier and more profitable. Right now, oil isn't moving a tremendous amount because it's summertime. It's a bit slow. But uh, after the summer, uh, it'll heat back up again and um, definitely be able to hit 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 tick trades again. Even 100 tick trades again. Anyway, uh, my stop is set and my exit is set for 30 ticks so I will come back to show you the progression or at a minimum the outcome of this trade oh by the way for you charting members uh, this entry represents a using the breakout technique just as the first entry was I used the breakout technique on the first entry I'm also using the breakout technique on this entry as well uh, the reason why I'm doing this is I really want to show the beginner traders out there that you do not need to use the code one. You do not need to figure the code one out. You do not need to worry about the offsets off the code one or figure the offsets out. Um, you simply just need to use a basic mathematical calculation of the breakout technique which is super easy to do and anybody in the world could do it so I want to demonstrate that how well the breakout technique works it's that simple 
So anyway, I will be back. It's uh, getting late here. I've got 11:56 um, p.m. here in Bangkok, and uh, so what I've done is I've placed the exit uh, one tick above the entry right there, and so when it pops back up again, it'll go ahead and get me out for a small little profit. One tick. Actually, it probably won't end up being anything, but uh, it'll just get me out break even pretty much. By the way, I'd like to point out really quick that uh, my original 40 tick exit on my first trade would have been successful had I held it out there. Uh, the exit was at uh, 43.14 and it made it up to about, what, 19 right there. So it would have made it just barely to the 40 tick exit, but I just took 20 ticks. I uh, wanted to be more sure. Anyway, I'm not going to make anything on this trade. Um, there's a very good likelihood that uh, it won't go up any higher than, than right there. So um, what I'm going to do is just take it when it pops back up to there again automatically and um, be done for the day. Anyway, I will come back after the trade is all over with and um, close out this video. Happy trading. Okay, I just wanted to show that the trade did make it. It popped back up here to uh, 43, got me out, and then it continued to go down. So anyway, I got out uh, one tick above my exit, and I'm done. So uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm about to do the charting here. I'm going to do the charting in about uh, 30 minutes and get it done. And I will predict, of course, what the trade will be.